please hold for a very important message. It's time for the MOT update, the car inspection update. <laughs> it's all good. We passed it, so we are able to continue driving with our Land Rover Defender Camper on the road. So this is a really, really good news for us. So what happened? I don't know if you remember the previous video regarding the MOT, we failed it and it was really stressful because we had to do some modifications on the car and we also had to get some papers done and it's always stressful if you have the car inspection and I'm sure you have one at least every few years or so when you have a modified 4x4 <laughs> it's stressful I'm gonna say it again it's stressful <laughs> okay so what happened this time so he went again with the car and the problem what we don't like and you're gonna tell me if it's the same for you in your country is that when you fail the MOT first you have to pay for it then you go if you fail and that you have to show your car a second time a third time how many time I don't know you can go through the inspection but every time you go back you have to pay an, another uh, invoice so it was a very expensive MOT for us this time. First time we went for the inspection, we did manage to have the tires with the rims, well, the rims with the size of the tires that we wanted on the car's paper and also get the um, suspension on it, the springs. So all this tire setup and suspension was already all good for us. But you need to understand that we need, we did need to buy a paper to have these rims on our car's papers. And for the suspension, the OME B51 suspension kit, the springs, the ones that we have with the plus two inch lift, did we have to pay for a paper? Oh no, I don't remember for the suspension. Oh, we also paid to have the paper. So this is some cost that we did have to add before going to the MOT. But these two uh, parts, these, well, there are four of them, obviously, <laughs> five for the rims, but all this was all good. So that was really good for us as we have the size of tires that we want with some alloy rims that are all good here in Switzerland to have on the car. So that was a first like win <laughs> for us. They did realize that we had... <laughs> I'm talking. <laughs> then they realized that we had some extent... <laughs> Stop uh, I'm, it. I'm working. Talking. Me. You're working. Yes. Yeah. I'm working. Yeah, I'm looking so at you. No, I need to explain what's happening here. So, they did realize that we had extended brake hoses and he's not letting me do, do the video. Let's try again. They did realize that we... Stop! <laughs> they did realize that we had extended brake hoses and they wrote down that it wasn't okay on the inspection papers, so... In fact, my husband didn't take the papers when he went to do him. Emoti, you had the papers. Oh, he didn't show them, but why? I don't understand why. Because it's the inspection. You just wanted them to not see and not talk about it. Okay, so now you know, like, <laughs> the real story. Huh? The less they know, the better it is. Yeah, so now you know everything. As we pass the inspection, now we can say everything. <laughs> so, he did have to send them the papers and the QR code that we had on the box of these extended brake hoses. And then they said that it was all good for them. So that's also added on the paper of the car. Next, what's happening right under there. 
you can see the chassis number of the car under the hood. But this time, after all these years and all these inspections we went through, they decided, well, the guy that checked the car decided that uh, it wasn't okay because the chassis number right under there was stuck under the bumper fixation. And he said it wasn't okay because he needed to see all the chassis numbers. So unfortunately, which is kind of stupid in a way, my husband had to remove the bumper, take out the fixation, cut out the fixation and to have all the chassis number visible for the guy. And then we put back everything together and for him it was all good. We do trust ARB, the fixation is really strong and tough and we don't think that this will, will cause any issue. And if it causes some issue, I think we will have to go back to the MOT and talk to them because this isn't good. The snorkel is kind of the black sheep here in Switzerland, depending on where you are. Sometimes it's okay, sometimes it's not okay to have a snorkel. And this time, what happened is that they simply put our snorkel on the papers of the car. So this was really call for us because they didn't ask anything. My husband didn't ask anything, they just added it to the papers. So that was a true relief for us because we heard so many stories about the snorkel. You might remember that I've talked about the winch and the bumper, that it should be possible to have them on the car's paper because it was the kind of accessory that was possible to buy on the Land Rover catalog. When we bought it, it was on the catalog, obviously not the exact one that we have here, as we have a super winch, winch and the ARB bumper without the ball bar. But this kind of accessory was possible to have with a Land Rover Defender. So this time, when the inspection was all good, he did ask them to add it on the cast paper and they did accept. So now we have the cast paper with the, this bumper and this winch. Uh, so we are like completely all good to drive with these two accessories and that's really cool. Today I would recommend you to insist when you go to the car inspection, at least in Switzerland, uh, to add some of the accessories that you have on the car that you know that were homologated at some point here in Switzerland because if you have them on the car's paper first of all you're all good if you have an accident for example we did think that the more accessories that we have on the car that are homologated the better it is for us also for our uh, long road trip that is planned for next year or even short shorter holidays trips because this will help in case of an accident first and also if the laws do change over the years if you have them on the cast paper they can't remove it from you for example we did you're making some no a lot of noise um for example, <laughs> we didn't choose the ARB bumper with the ball bar because here in Switzerland it's not legal to have a ball bar on the bumper. So yes, we did have a few bumpers previous to the ARB one, but we did choose this one especially without the bumper because of the Swiss laws and that we were planning to ask them to add, the, add it on the cast paper. Now we have an almost fully homologated Land Rover Defender camper and this is really nice for us because we have a bit less stress on our shoulders when we go out with the Defender or even for our long road trip next year we think it's it will be easier for us like for the insurance and in case of a problem we now are only able to travel four people in the defender because of the weight we have it homologated for four people 
I don't know if you remember, I've talked about it also in the previous video regarding the MOT. We are now in the process of looking to higher up the, over, the loading weight, the loading capacity of the vehicle at 3 tons 500. And we are really crossing fingers and we are really hoping to be able to do it. For the moment, we just had one negative answer from a company who wasn't able to help us for this but we are still waiting on two others and didn't have any answers for the moment so we will keep you updated maybe in a few weeks from now if we have some answers if it's possible and this is I think an important topic because going to this car inspection this year with all our new setup and having all these parts homologated, we do realize that the weight is a real problem uh, on this kind of vehicle. We do know that we have made a lot of modifications on the parts and go, went for HD parts in the transmission, for example. And we do know that our vehicle is really capable of going above the weight capacity that is written on the car's paper today. And just to have a peace of mind, we would really be happy to have it hired up, just uh, like the weight of a 130, for example. So there we go, that was the update for the MOT, which we passed this time. So it's all good for our trip, next year's trip. It's all good for driving anywhere. And this is like ah, such a good news for us. Tell me in the comments, how is your car going and how stressful is it for you to go through this process, this car inspection process? Okay, so if you have any questions, don't uh, hesitate to comment below. We're always happy to read you and also don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video if it's useful for one of your friends. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.